Hi Aries, I hope you're all doing well. I just did your thing and it was really different, a different kind of style than what I usually do. I don't know who that message was for, but I'm gonna put it with the extended for this reading. So if you buy the extended for this reading, then you'll also get that one. That happens a lot with your sign, more than any other sign. Like I sometimes do that if I feel like, ah, this reading isn't for everyone, but I still want somebody to see it who needs to see it. I trust that you'll find it if it's yours. Um, so sometimes I add those extra readings to the extended, but this happens a lot for your sign. I don't know why that is. In any case, <laughs> Let's do your reading. Okay, Aries, let's see what's going on for you. Let's pull out an Oracle card to start here. What's going on with Aries? Well, let's get a couple actually. What's going on with Aries these days, Spirit? My readings are timeless, by the way, so whenever you come across this message, it could be for you. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay, no worries. If it does, hitting the like button lets me know. Also commenting and letting me know how the story is unfolding for you is always interesting to me. It helps me keep going. You know, I'm, I'm sitting here talking to a camera. It's really strange sometimes. <laughs> so getting that interaction with you always feels good. Okay, Aries, let's see. What does Aries need to know? We have faith. Ooh, like the circle. I'm hearing a circle of trust. Doesn't that come from that movie, Meet the Parents? That, yeah, that's interesting. Okay, love at the bottom, faith and love. Ooh, that's quite beautiful. Let's get one from here. Tell me about Aries. Ooh, creativity. Faith, love, creativity, and we'll get one more, and then we'll get into the tarot. Childhood, meet the parents. Maybe some of you are having children or you could, you could be pregnant and you don't know quite yet, okay? If that's not the case for you, then there's something here about your inner child having a lot of fun. There's something really warm about your energy. I feel like this is going to be such a beautiful time for you to play, to explore, to create. For some of you, there's somebody that you love, like a childhood love, you know what I mean? Like a high school love, I'm seeing sweetness behind that. A high school love or um, somebody maybe when you were younger that you loved that you're gonna reunite with or that you're gonna reconnect with here. Could even be a friend, childhood friend. This person is gonna restore your faith in something and boost your creativity. Let's pull out a tarot card. What's the childhood about, spirit? The Hierophant. Some of you need to give guidance here to somebody younger than you, or you will be giving guidance soon, maybe about their interests and what they want to do, their career, their work. Yeah, I feel like for those of you who are parents, you're going to want to spend some time It's like endorsing their creativity, but also giving them a structure for what this creativity could lead to. So for example, if this isn't, if you don't have children, try to take this as a metaphor for something else that's going on in your life. Um, for example, when I was younger, my parents really allowed me to be super creative. As you can imagine, <laughs> I was like in my own world with my imagination quite a bit. Um, I was, I'm an only child, so I spent a lot of time alone in my own world. Uh, and that was great. That was beautiful. But there was kind of like a lack of direction perhaps or not really any guidance about how I could channel that energy into something um, that would be prosperous for me career-wise or in friendships or in love. You know, it was kind of too open. So there's something about giving your children some structure, framework, or ideas about what they could be doing. 
Now, if those of you don't have children, then I feel like if you've been in a state of anxiety, you're coming out of that. And it's going to feel real good. Okay, let's see what your general message is here. One more. So your overall energy right now is the king of swords. So you're quite serious. Okay, doing a lot of thinking, being very contemplative. You might be spending some time alone, maybe walking alone here. I also feel like you're spending some time in nature or thinking about nature. There's something about owls here. Maybe you're looking up in the sky a lot, getting signs from God, I'm hearing from spirit. Anything that flies is a messenger for you. Bats, butterflies, dragonflies, bees, crows, owls, whatever it is. <laughs> They're all messengers for you at this time. I'm hearing your half crow. Your half crow? Your intuition is really on point with something. What is this about for Aries? Justice. Two of Wands. I feel like you understand a situation outside of yourself very clearly now. You can clearly see things for what they are. Perhaps you understand why somebody made a certain decision in their life or you understand why you made the decisions you did in your life. But there's a sense I'm getting from you where you feel really free now. Or you will soon if you don't feel this now. You've kept the faith here with something and Spirit's rewarding you, I'm hearing with love, Anima Mundi, with all the possibilities in the world to create whatever you, it is you wanna create. This is amazing. So what's gonna surprise you? Ace of Swords, yes, it's truth, it's clarity, it's a new perspective on something. It's understanding something to the core, not just the surface of a situation, but really the depths of what's going on. You have a beautiful mind, very smart, intricate. There's a lot of things going on in your mind that you don't tell other people. You're a very intellectual sign, at least in my um, experience with Aries. They're always very smart. But yeah, no buts. They're always very smart. I feel like you can see things before other people can see what's going to unfold or what the answer is or the truth is. And that would make sense with your sign because you're the leader, right? You see the path before everyone else in the zodiac. So you can see if the way ahead is clear or not. And what's going to surprise you is I feel like your intuition is confirmed and it's like your mind expands here with something. The Emperor. You see how you should move the chess, board, chess pieces on the board. You know your next move. You know the right next move here. This is beautiful, Aries. This is so much clarity. It's like I'm feeling such clearness in the mind. And it kind of goes with the other reading that I was doing for you in some ways. But it doesn't matter about that. <laughs> You're really clear here. Or you will be soon, okay? And it's what I love is that all of that kind of intuitive musing and that creativity and imagination is being channeled away from things that bother you or things that upset you and into something creative. So you're taking, maybe you were like really trying to work something out with someone in a conflict situation, intuitively, energetically. You were trying to figure out what was going on. You're no longer doing that. You've gotten some clarity here and you're taking that energy now and channeling it into a creative project, one in which you can be very playful here. And not only be creative and play, but actually make something out of it, make a business out of it or gain some rewards or recognitions out of it or make, yeah. 
Make a name for yourself somewhere here. And it's going to be something that you love. And it restores your faith. It restores your faith. This is so awesome. Can I be an Aries? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Well, Mars, my Mars makes the most aspects in my whole chart. I think I have like eight aspects to Mars in my chart. So Mars does influence me a lot, but not as much as you. Okay, let's see. <laughs> see, the thing about you, Aries, is that you're ruled by Mars. So when you get going on something, you're going on it, right? Like, you know that. I don't need to tell you that. But with all of this air energy that's coming out here, air and fire, this is like you're going full steam ahead with clarity. Yeah. Okay, I'm hearing, um, it's weird. I'm hearing Mer Mercury, Mars, Kazemi. I don't even know what that means exactly. I don't even know if that's a thing. <laughs> okay, but that's what I heard. Okay, let's see. Like, I don't even know if that's possible. Let me know if you're an astrologer, because I don't know. Okay, so what is ending is the Nine of Pentacles. This is taking a very grounded approach to something, maybe being very methodical in the way you're handling something, making sure everything is secure and safe. You have everything you need before you go forward. And I feel like you're getting clarity here that you don't need to have every single box checked before you, I'm hearing submit your paper. I don't know. But it's a metaphor probably, but before you go forward in what you want to do or how you're thinking. Hmm. Tell me more about this Nine of Pentacles ending. The star. Yeah, you're having faith and hope. So you're moving from this place of like, I need to make sure I have these credentials or that I say this thing or that I check these boxes. I got to do all of this stuff before I can pursue what I want to pursue. That's ending because now you're realizing, no, I just need faith in my own creativity and my own mental clarity. So let's see what's beginning. Ten of Swords, an ending here, a difficult ending. I'm hearing start the process. Okay, tell me about the Ten of Swords for what's beginning. The lovers. Some of you are saying goodbye to a connection here or a contract. The chariot. Or what else? There's two stories here. So you got to take which one resonates. They're kind of like opposites. One is that you're realizing that you do have the potential to grow something with someone eight of wands here but you just need to communicate with that person you need to go for a chariot page of wands and make that happen and stop wandering maybe that's what the mental clarity is about you know you just have to apply for the job or you just have to go travel wherever or you have to just contact the person that goes with that other reading that you'll get in the extended okay um and others of you here are ending a connection and deciding to free yourself here. You want somebody who values you here and somebody who appreciates all the work that you've put into things, into your parenting, I'm hearing, into your parenting, into your... To your love connect to your love connections and okay tell me what else is beginning for Aries strength yeah I feel like no matter what's going on here you're gonna feel really free a decision has finally been made and it just releases you. And I feel like this decision has been building up for quite some time. Okay? And you're finally, maybe this is coming up 
soon in the new year. Maybe it's a new year's resolution. I don't know, <laughs> whatever. But it's like, I'm not going to be holding on to this anymore. I got to do what I got to do to move forward with what I want to move forward with. And I'm going to have faith that it's going to work out for me. And it is going to work out for you. You're definitely coming out of some kind of stagnant period. So let's see your advice. The fool. <laughs> yeah. Now's the time for you to take that leap of faith into your new beginning. To trust the universe here. That the universe has got you. Cheesy. I know. But that's what I'm seeing here. But the universe has... The universe has got your back because you have mental clarity. You're not making a mistake, you know? It Had you gone forward in a place of being muddled and confused, then maybe things would have turned into tower situations, right? Or things, you know, things wouldn't have been so tower. Yeah, <laughs> unclear, a tower situation would have happened, okay? But now with temperance here, you've you've alchemized something, you've healed something, you've discovered something, you have more confidence in yourself, in your path, in your direction. Your all of that muddled up energy is now channeled into something beautiful and creative. So your new beginning begins. So let's see what's gonna unfold in the next three months. Oh, Ace of Cups. How beautiful is that, Aries? Your heart chakra opens. I feel like you connect with a friend. I'm, I'm strongly feeling a friendship vibes here. I feel like you either make an, a new friend who really fills your heart space up, space up, maybe you work on something creative together, okay? Or um, you reconnect with an old friend. There's a lot of love here and sweetness, kindness. Some of you are uh, making a love connection to making a love connection happen. But whatever it is you're doing, there's a new energy to it. Like a revitalizing energy. But very positive. Optimistic. Hopeful. Seven of Wands. You've come, yeah, you've, hold on. Seven of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Six of Pentacles. See, I love this Seven of Pen Seven of Wands because Seven of Wands is usually standing your ground here. But in this deck, she's super peaceful. Okay, she's got a protective bubble around her. She knows she's guided. She knows she's protected. Protected as long as she comes to a place of inner peace. So it's not about standing your ground in an egoic way. It's about just being confident in who you are and what you have to offer the world, what your what your heart is saying. See this? It's right there. Or your solar plexus maybe even. Like, you know, your will, your drive to do what it is you want to do and what you want to create. This is finding that reassurance within you and allowing that reassurance to be your protective mechanism. You're unshakable here, okay? No one's going to mess with you kind of deal. And maybe in the past they could because you were all over the place in your mind. Amazing. So Ten of Pentacles and Six of Pentacles. This is either you or somebody else sharing what they have. Feeling like they have an abundance of security Maybe financial security, maybe I'm hearing networking, hookups, okay? Happiness, wisdom as well. And you sharing it with somebody who could use some of that or somebody is doing that with you. This is beautiful. This is showing gratitude. This is giving back from a place of soul ascension <laughs> i'm getting from a place of soul ascension okay aries wow i'm gonna go into the extended now and we're just gonna get a layer deeper and see what else unfolds with the story i'll check in more about this whole situation here with the lovers card um and see what is actually going on there um, and what you're going to be creating over here but if this is where you go i love you so much i'll see you next time